To say how significant was your win in the League Cup over Southampton last season in terms of building momentum and maybe giving you a bit of belief that you could turn things around and bring success back to the club? It's just, just a victory. Normally we have to win, with all the respect, we have to win at Old Trafford against um, a championship team. To do that, you have to be positive, you have to be professional, you have to have a, a good approach. We had that, not thinking of the momentum, not thinking that that victory important for the next uh, Premier League match. No, that victory important because we go to the next to the next draw and and we go to the next stage of, of the competition. Six of your next seven games are away from home. How big a challenging time is this for your side? You know, it's very difficult, but it means that it's going to be easier later. If you play now CSK in, in Moscow and uh, Benfica in Lisbon, means that later we are going to play them at Old Trafford. If we have consecutive matches away, Liverpool and uh, I think Huddersfield, it means that later we are going to play them at Old Trafford. So I, I'm, I'm never too worried about matches at home and away because the number of matches is going to be the same unless in the domestic cups you are always in the, in the cold balls and some clubs are always in the hot balls. Um, but I'm not worried about it. I know that is is difficult to play at home. It's difficult to play away. Uh, probably a little bit more difficult to play away. But if you cannot win, we try to get the points. We we go to win every match. But if it's impossible to win all the time, we try to get points, and then try to compensate with a good form at home. If if you can do that, uh, in this moment we have uh, three Premier League victories. At Old Trafford, we won the Champions League match, we won the Cup match. So if we, if we manage to to change so many draws of last season, if we change some of them to victories, would be great. And for example, West Ham and Everton, last season two points against them at Old Trafford. This season six points against them. That's right. A lot of times this season you've spoken about the support of the fans and clearly there's been an issue with a song about Romelu Lukaku, kind of in the light of that. Don't, don't, don't ask me these questions, please. It was more what your message is to the fans, because they think they're supporting your, your football club. Is it, just to support, is it supported in the right way? I want the fans to support the football club and to support the players, that's what I want. And ask you something more, perhaps more positive, Edward yesterday said that it's exciting times for Manchester United. Did those exciting times start with the win over Southampton at Wembley? Is that when you realise that you know, excitement might come back when you won the League Cup against this team? I think that's not fair because uh, a few months before that, Mr. Van Gaal and, uh, and the players, they won uh, the FA Cup. So if that's a cup, the start of the exciting times is not my, my, is not my um, League Cup match. League Cup final is, is there. FA Cup final. I don't think it's about a specific moment of winning a specific competition. I think it's uh, something more global where the club financially looks really strong, better than ever according to the, to the numbers, where um, the football team is improving not just in results but also in a certain style of, of play, uh, where the connection between the players, the team, the fans looks stronger and stronger, where uh, the Man United fan around the world has more reasons to smile than than in the past, in the recent past. So I think it's about it's about globality. Since the League Cup final, Southampton have changed managers. Mauricio Pellegrino is someone you worked with in your time at Barcelona. Do you see him becoming a coach? And have you been impressed by the work he's done in his coaching career today? I see. I see clearly. That's why. He, that's why he's there. You know, ex experience as a player, experience as an assistant of a 
a manager with a lot of experience and knowledge like Rafael Benitez, then his own uh, experience in Argentina, in Spain, now in England. So for sure he prepared himself well for this, uh, for this challenge. And Southampton, to be fair, I played them in my second spell in England. I played them and they had Mauricio and then Kuman and then Puel and now Mauricio and I don't see many changes. It's the kind of club where uh, they are very stable in the way they play, in the way they sing football, the qualities of their players. So I think it's, it's a good team. It's a good team to be a manager. Honestly, I think it's a very good club to be a manager. And um, I see the match tomorrow as a very difficult match. Not expecting to see Paul Pogba tomorrow, obviously, but do you have any further idea when he when he will be back? No idea, no idea. But again, great opportunity for other players to play, and I trust them all. So I'm not going to to cry or to be counting the days for Paul to be back. Not at all. When he's back, welcome. But until then, I trust my people. What did you make of Anthony Martial's performance this week, Jose? And have you seen a, a rapid improvement in him from the player that he was last season? I see a great improvement in the person, in the moods, in the in the face, in the body language. If you want just a word, in the happiness. He's a happy guy. He's He's working extremely well, he starts matches, he tries to do well, he goes from the bench, even if it is for 10 minutes, like, um, like in, the, um, in the last match at home, he tries to enjoy and, and, and to give something in these um, extra minutes. I'm, I'm very pleased with his, with his attitude overall, and then it's easier to play, to play well. To be fans of either Manchester club, because Manchester United and Man City are absolutely flying. If you have a look at the current Premier League table, Craig, they're level not just on points, mm. but on goal difference and even goals that they've allowed. So our good friend Mark Ogden has been rising about the two mm. Manchester clubs, as you'd expect, and he says this is shaping up to be an epic title race, possibly a two-horse race with those two clubs. Do you think it's that close? Well, Mark's club? from up that way, so he may have a nose <laughs> in, that, in that race. I, yeah. I, you know what you win in September? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. And I, I, I kind of know it is building up to be a good battle mm -hmm. between the Manchester clubs. And let's, let's be honest, uh, I'm sure there's no love lost between either coach yeah. from their resumes and their time in Spain uh, competing against each other. And they are in much better shape. That's been clearly obvious from the pre-season signings. But there is no way this Premier League is a two-horse race because although Chelsea had a bad weekend, uh, in my opinion, didn't play particularly well, didn't have a great weekend, maybe not a bad, wasn't a great weekend, then they are the Premier League champions and, and Conte's side is not going to go away. So, and as Mourinho and people have said before, United were six last year yeah. and they've been dampening the, the flames a little bit by saying, well, it's difficult to go from six to first. So, I think there's a lot of water to go under this bridge. Two much improved sides but certainly not a two-horse race, absolutely never in a month of Sundays. But if it does turn, come down to those two clubs, who would you give the edge to? Because I know Manchester United have been grinding out those pretty mm. good results, but the way Manchester City look, it is unreal. They look really deadly there, and I would personally pick them well, to I picked, possibly I last I picked City to win the league. I don't think I was alone. I think a lot of, most of my colleagues and a lot of outside people pick, pick City. It can, you know, it could change by injuries or whatever. But, mm -hmm. but both sides look particularly strong. I think they go about things a little differently. Yeah. I think City are a little slicker or a lot slicker, have a lot more guile. I think United have that guile, uh, but have a bit more physicality about them when needed as well. So I think I think there's two different ways to skin a cat, and I think Chelsea somewhere in between both of those. Uh, obviously, Eden Hazard coming back. Uh, into the fray, so that will be a bonus for them. But no, I think City to me was an ex absolutely exhilarating performance. Uh, I think 
4-0 was a bit flattering in the end, yeah. the way Everton crumbled. But no...